Hey everybody, it is late at night and I am Norman. Tonight's video is the first in a series I'm going to call Watch Advice, where I offer tips and pointers to fellow watch enthusiasts. So let us begin. <laughs> As watch nerds, or enthusiasts, we often buy watches that will accompany us on our various adventures and milestones of our lives. We collect dress watches that we can wear to weddings, or to job interviews, or simply wear around the office. We might buy dive watches or other water-resistant sports watches or field watches to take with us on vacations or other warm weather adventures. We might acquire a polar dial sports watch for frolicking in the snow, or maybe chronographs or other auto-inspired watches that we could wear to the races. But sometimes we cross a line that we shouldn't have. In this video, I want to explore such mistakes when we think we've found the perfect piece to wear when burying great grandma. I'm gonna look at three watches that you should never wear to a funeral. And as a bonus, I'm also going to cover three watches that you should put on while celebrating the life and mourning the loss of a loved one. The first watch on my list is the Seven Deadly Sins watch. Core Timepieces is a great company. I've discussed them in the past, and I've actually reviewed the red dial variant of the watch I'm discussing tonight, the Seven Deadly Sins watch. This legitimate dive watch not only features a rock-solid stainless steel case, but 300 meters of water resistance, and a ceramic unidirectional bezel. On the automatic variant of the watch, it has loom on the indices and the bezel. Its claim to fame is the Seven Sins Complication. Instead of displaying the date at the 3 o'clock, this watch displays the Seven Deadly Sins at the 9 o'clock. They change daily, and you can set them to whatever sin you like. But it also features a switchblade for hands, and a blood drop for a second's hand. So if the deceased died under questionable circumstances, you may not want to draw the attention of the amazingly observant detective in the crowd. Maybe you want to do what hackers do, and brag about your CD exploits online, not in meat space, via your watch, you murderous psycho. And certainly don't set the sin to the motive for your murderiness. You know, like lust, or wrath, or greed. If you want to purchase one of these watches for more appropriate situations, you can do so from the Core Timepieces website. I've included a link in the description below. I've also included a discount code for 30% off of everything on the website. That discount code is Norm sent me. The next watch on my list is the Mr. Jones Last Laugh Mechanical. Look, there's no reason to brag that a loved one is dead and you are not. Wearing a watch with a big grinning skull on it called the Last Laugh is probably not a good idea. Unless you're trying to brag. This unique and entertaining watch features a white dial that consists solely of a stylized skull. Eyes, nose, toothy mouth. And the time is actually told from within the teeth. The front two top teeth tell the hour, and the front two bottom teeth tell the minutes. The entire piece is very minimal, and it features unique, thin, long lugs that actually look really cool. The case size is 37 millimeters, which is great dimensions. It has a 46 millimeter lug to lug. The crystal that is on it is mineral. The movement inside this watch is a Seagull ST1721 automatic movement. These retail for about $250, and you can find them on sites such as watches.com. The last watch that you should never wear to a funeral is the Memento Mori watch. 
So you're mourning the loss of a loved one. Why would you want to remind yourself and everyone around you that you're next? I mean, it's like that one joke of, uh, when I was young, I used to go to weddings and everyone would nudge me and say, you're next. So I decided I would start going to funerals and nudge all the old people and say, you're next. Well, this watch does exactly that. This beautifully minimalist watch features curving lugs that track along the case's shape. It has a silver colored dial with an inset minutes track and very minimal branding. There is no date window. It features an orangish red seconds hand and the minute and hour hands spell out the phrase, remember you will die. Okay, okay, 100% of us will die. Do you really need to rub it in? I say wear this watch on the following milestones instead. When you first go skydiving. When your friend wins the lottery. Anytime you play Monopoly. These watches used to be available on watches.com, but I haven't been able to find them there, so you may have to hunt for this watch. Okay, so which watches should you wear to a funeral? Here are three ideas for watches that will both celebrate and mourn both life and death. The first watch is a Swatch watch. Swatches are fun and whimsical and amazingly affordable. What better watch to wear to an event celebrating the life of a loved one than a happy watch that recalls childhood and vacations and fun. These are timeless pieces that actually defy categorization. I mean, they're swatches. I've seen reviews trying to treat them like fashion watches or other ordinary watches, but it can't be done. I mean, these are swatches. I recommend going with a nice colorful piece, bright colors, artsy designs. I personally own nine swatches in both the gents and the new gent sizes, and the brand is still putting out designs in keeping with the size and style of their 1980s and 1990s pieces. For under $100, you just can't go wrong with the swatch. At funerals, it is traditional to wear all black, or if you're me, black is standard fare every day. This next watch is a piece that I have a strange curiosity about. It is super minimal, nearly blank. The Movado Museum. The dial is completely black, except for the silver Delphine hands and the trademark silver circle indicator at the 12 o'clock. Other than that, the only details are Swiss made and Movado at the 6 o'clock. These watches come in either quartz or automatic. The automatic line is the Red Label Museum. They have a sapphire crystal and a 38mm or 40mm case. Yes, these are fashion watches, but the Egyptian styling is so unique and cool. I think at some point in time, I may have to own one of these pieces, whether it gets much wrist time or not. You can purchase these watches on the Movado website. I've included a link to it in the description below. The last watch is the Nomos Orion Anthrazite. This watch is reverent and dressy and very much nearly all black. It is the most mature way to honor the passing of a loved one and a great excuse to get yourself an amazing Bauhaus inspired dress watch. It is classic in style with a 35mm case and merely 8.7mm in thickness. It features a black dial and chrome hands and Bauhaus batten markers that in certain light disappear into darkness, giving it an aesthetic similar to the Movado. It is both mourning of loss and the promise of a glamorous future. Being Nomos, these are an expensive option at about $2,000, but you are getting a Bauhaus powerhouse. I personally own this watch and I absolutely love it, and I'll be doing a full review of it in the near future. So there you have it, three watches that would be morbid, or maybe kind of funny depending on your sense of humor, to wear to a funeral, and three watches that would celebrate 
and bring reverence to the emotional occasion. Thanks for watching. The front two top teeth tell the hour and the bottom two top teeth tell the minutes.